The African sun beat down relentlessly, casting long shadows across the savanna. The heat was almost palpable, shimmering in waves off the parched earth. On the muddy banks of the Zambezi River, life seemed to move in slow motion. The river, a lifeline for countless species flowed lazily, its surface occasionally broken by the splash of a fish or the ripple of a breeze. A young impala, thirsty and unaware, edged closer to the water's edge. Its delicate legs trembled slightly as it bent down to drink, eyes darting nervously around. The impala was cautious but the lure of the cool, refreshing water was too strong to resist. Suddenly, an eruption. A monstrous head, jaws agape, exploded from the murky depths. The water, once calm and inviting, turned into a scene of chaos and terror. The crocodile's eyes, cold and calculating, locked onto its prey with deadly precision. The water churned violently as the impala, caught in a vice-like grip, was dragged beneath the surface. The struggle was brief, but intense, a flurry of splashes and desperate kicks. In moments, the river returned to its deceptive tranquility, the only evidence of the drama a few ripples spreading outwards. This, my friends, was no ordinary predator. It was a master of ambush, a creature perfectly adapted to its environment. With its powerful tail and muscular body, it could launch itself out of the water with astonishing speed and force. This was Crocodilus niloticus, the Nile crocodile, a creature that has instilled fear and respect in humans for millennia. Its lineage dates back to the age of the dinosaurs, making it one of the oldest and most successful predators on the planet. The Nile crocodile is a survivor from a prehistoric era a living dinosaur that has stalked Africa's waterways for millions of years. Its resilience and adaptability have allowed it to thrive in a variety of habitats, from rivers and lakes to marshes and estuaries. They are the apex predators of their domain, opportunistic hunters with an arsenal of deadly weapons. Their keen senses, incredible strength and stealthy approach make them formidable hunters. They can lie in wait for hours, barely moving, until the perfect moment to strike. The most impressive of which is their bite. With a force of over 3,000 pounds per square inch, the Nile crocodile's bite is one of the most powerful in the animal kingdom. Once it has its prey in its jaws, escape is nearly impossible. This prehistoric terror continues to reign supreme in the waters of Africa, a living testament to the power and persistence of nature. Pound for pound, the Nile crocodile possesses the strongest bite force of any animal on Earth. Imagine a force of over 5,000 pounds per square inch, twice the bite force of a great white shark. Their jaws are designed for crushing bones, literally pulverizing their prey. Those teeth, conical and serrated, are perfectly designed for gripping and tearing flesh. Once those jaws clamp down, escape is almost impossible. The Nile crocodile's bite is a testament to its evolutionary success, a testament to its raw power. Crocodiles, you see, have a lineage that stretches back over 200 million years. They shared the planet with dinosaurs, and while the dinosaurs are long gone, crocs are still here, thriving. Why? Evolution, pure and simple. Their bodies, low to the ground and streamlined for aquatic life, are perfectly adapted for ambush predation. Their senses are highly developed, with eyes positioned on top of their heads for scanning the water's surface, and sensitive pressure receptors on their snouts that can detect even the slightest ripples. Nile crocodiles are masters of camouflage and deception. They lie submerged, almost invisible, waiting for the opportune moment to strike. Fish, birds, mammals, even other crocodiles, nothing is safe from their lightning-fast attacks. They are incredibly patient hunters, capable of remaining submerged for extended periods, and when the moment is right, they explode from the water with astonishing speed and agility, taking their prey completely by surprise. Section 5, The River's Rain, Ecological Role of the Nile Crocodile Now some folks might think of crocs as mindless killing machines. These ancient reptiles, often portrayed as ruthless predators, have a reputation that precedes them. But that's just not true. In reality, Nile crocodiles are far more complex and play a crucial role in their environment. They play a vital role in maintaining the delicate balance of their ecosystem. Their presence ensures that the riverine habitats remain vibrant and diverse. As apex predators, they keep prey populations in check, preventing overgrazing and ensuring the health of the entire food web. Without them, certain species could become too numerous, leading to overconsumption of vegetation and a subsequent collapse of the ecosystem. They also act as scavengers, 
cleaning up the river system by consuming dead animals and preventing the spread of disease. This scavenging behavior is essential for the health of the river as it helps to recycle nutrients back into the ecosystem. They are nature's garbage disposal if you will, and a vital part of a healthy ecosystem. By consuming carrion, they prevent the buildup of decaying matter which could otherwise lead to outbreaks of disease. Their role as both predator and scavenger makes them indispensable to the health of the Nile River and its surrounding environments. Furthermore, Nile crocodiles contribute to the ecosystem in other subtle ways. Their nesting activities, for instance, create microhabitats for other species. When they dig nests, they inadvertently aerate the soil, which can benefit plant growth. Their presence also influences the behavior of other animals, often keeping them on the move and preventing any one species from dominating the landscape. In conclusion, the Nile crocodile is much more than a fearsome predator. It is a keystone species, integral to the health and stability of its ecosystem. By understanding and appreciating their role, we can better protect these magnificent creatures and the environments they help sustain. Section 6. Collision with Man Conflicts and Casualties Sadly, the relationship between humans and crocodiles is often one of conflict. As humans encroach on their habitats, encounters become more frequent, and these encounters can be deadly. Hundreds of crocodile attacks are reported each year in Africa, many of them fatal. These attacks are a stark reminder of the power of these animals, and the importance of respecting their space. We need to remember that we are entering their world, not the other way around. Section 7, A Future Uncertain, The Nile Crocodile on the Brink But it's not just humans who are at risk. Nile crocodile populations are declining across their range, threatened by habitat loss, hunting, and the illegal wildlife trade. These magnificent creatures, once so numerous, are now facing an uncertain future. It's heartbreaking to think that these ancient creatures, who have survived for millions of years, could be wiped out in our lifetime. We have a responsibility to protect them, for their sake and for the sake of the ecosystems they call home. Section 8. Conservation Imperative. Safeguarding a Species. The Nile Crocodile, one of the most formidable predators in Africa, plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of its ecosystem. However, this magnificent creature faces numerous threats, from habitat destruction to illegal poaching. So what can we do? Education is key. By raising awareness about the Nile crocodile and its importance, we can foster a sense of responsibility and stewardship in local communities. Schools and community workshops can serve as platforms to teach the younger generation about the significance of wildlife conservation. We need to teach people about the importance of crocodiles in the ecosystem and the dangers of encroaching on their territory. Informative presentations and clear warning signs can help reduce human-crocodile conflicts, ensuring both people and crocodiles can coexist safely. We need to support organizations working on the front lines of conservation, protecting crocodile habitats, and combating poaching. These dedicated conservationists are often the last line of defense for the Nile crocodile, tirelessly working to ensure their survival. By supporting these efforts, we can help create protected areas where crocodiles can thrive without the threat of human interference. We need to find ways to coexist with these animals, to share the rivers and lakes that we both depend on. This means developing strategies that allow for peaceful coexistence such as designated fishing zones and community-led monitoring programs. By working together, we can ensure that both humans and crocodiles can benefit from the rich resources of their shared environment. It won't be easy, but it's a challenge we must embrace if we want to ensure the survival of this incredible species. Scientists and conservationists are continually researching new methods to protect the Nile crocodile, and their work is vital. Motivational speeches and community involvement can inspire more people to join the cause. Together, we can make a difference and safeguard the future of the Nile crocodile for generations to come. Section 9. Coexistence finding harmony with the Nile crocodile. The Nile crocodile is a powerful symbol of the wildness that still exists in our world. They are a reminder of the raw power of nature and the importance of respecting the creatures we share this planet with. By working together, we can ensure that these magnificent predators continue to roam Africa's waterways for generations to come. Let's not let them become just another extinct species, a cautionary tale of human indifference. Let's choose coexistence, let's choose conservation, let's choose to protect the Nile crocodile.